welcome to the Charles Norman Show, special show today. Guess what? There's no sports. There's no inspiration. It's all hot topics. So I want to hurry up and start the show. Here we go. All right. Oh, no. First, we got to talk about P. Diddy and Drake. They got into a fight. Why did they get into a fight? Well, there was a, a music producer gave Diddy a song, and he gave Drake the same song. But Diddy was sitting on it, and he wasn't making them, making, um, like, rapping to the song. He didn't produ put the song out there. So Drake got tired of waiting, and he put his version of the song out there, and Diddy felt disrespected. So on Monday night in a club in Miami, on Monday, I guess it was Monday night, because nobody goes to a club in the morning. Um, he punched Drake in the face, and Drake's eye was red. I gotta find a picture for you guys. If I do find it, I'll put it in the show. But that's crazy. Okay, and then yesterday, Panthers quarterback Cam Newton got into a car crash, and he broke his back. Well, he broke two parts of his spine, but it was it's scary because the truck was flipped over, and I'm just glad that Cam Newton is alive. I got pictures of that truck in the car wreck. It's scary. Cam was, uh, it's a shame because he just won a big game on Sunday. And he got two what they call transverse fractures in his back. Tony Romo had the same thing and he still played. He only missed one week, so I guess Cam Newton could do it. But Cam actually gets hit more than Tony Romo does. So I would say Cam just stay safe, get healthy. This year doesn't even matter no more. Your health matters more. You don't want to play this week, risk playing this week and hurt your back. Or you got to deal with it 40 years later when you won't even be in the NFL or be making money from the NFL. So, you know what? Stay out, rest, get better, Cam. I hope you get better soon. Okay. I don't know if this guy is a rapper or a singer. But his name is Earl Hayes. And he murdered his wife because he thought his wife was cheating on him. Then he killed himself. Um, There was one person who he thought his wife was cheating. He accused his wife of cheating on him with. And that was singer Trey Song. Well, Trey Songz tweeted, Rest in peace, baby girl. You are an angel on earth, now you're in heaven. Something like that. I got the tweet for you. Look at that. And guess what? He killed himself and his wife while he was on FaceTime with Floyd Money Mayweather. So Floyd witnessed the whole thing. He was on FaceTime because he was trying to get the man to stop. Trying to calm the man down so he didn't kill himself. And Floyd didn't do a good job, I guess, because the guy... Probably was not anything to do a good job because I'm pretty sure the guy already had and said that I'm gonna kill her and I'm gonna kill me because I ain't going to jail for killing her because she cheated on me. But honestly, well, they're both dead now, but I feel bad for her. But I don't think cheating on her, you shouldn't kill nobody for cheating on you, just move on, just leave her. So many other people out there for you to go to, and you can't go to no one, and neither can she because y'all both dead. It's a shame, but. What does Floyd Mayweather... I wonder how Floyd Mayweather really feels. Like, he saw two people get killed on FaceTime. And does he have any screenshots of anything? I don't know. It's crazy. All right. Here's for you, all of you older TV watchers. You know, the answer ain't done it Well, Ken Weather, Wax, Weatherwax, who played Rugsley, Pugsley, Passed away on Sunday because he had a heart attack in his home in California. So, rest in peace to that person from the Adams family. All right, now this is something I want to talk about on Monday's show. I don't even know what to, today is Wednesday. Ray Rice and Janae Rice did an interview with Matt Lauer on the Today Show. The interview, I thought, was pathetic. They actually blamed everything on the Ravens. Like everything that they had to say. Ray Rice and his wife both said, they were given what to say about the situation in that first press conference where she initially apologized. But she said that she apologized because she wasn't the only, Ray wasn't the only one who did wrong. And she, since she got locked up, she apologized too. But that doesn't make any sense to me. Because I saw the video. You all saw the video. If you watched the show before, you saw the video multiple times. It looked like to me that he spit in her face and he knocked her out. She didn't do anything. But... She wanted to apologize. And you know what? I think both the Ravens, well, all three, the Ravens, Ray Rice, and Janae Rice, and 
What's that? The NFL. All that fault here. It's not just the Ravens. It's not just the Racers. I'm going to blame most of them on the NFL just the way they handled the situation. Not the NFL. Roger Goodell. And I still think Roger the Dodger should get fired as soon as possible because this is his fault. This blew up way out of proportion. No, no, I'm not. Actually, I'm not going to blame that. Ray Rice and Janae Rice fighting each other. Well, Janae getting beat up by her husband on the NFL and the Ravens. That's all their fault. And Ray Rice needs to take responsibility. Responsibility. Somebody just texted me. Sorry. Responsibility for everything that he's done, which he apologized, but I still don't believe him. I think he, well, I believe him, but he still hit his wife. And he should have, and now they're not even taking full responsibility of what they've done. Because I wouldn't have said anything that the Raven said. I would have just said what happened. And then they, well, he already, he got released. And if they released me, then it would have been whatever. But I'm not going to lie about the situation that happened. Which in time, all lies do come, what's done in the dark comes to light. So you're going to get caught eventually. And it's going to make you look bad because you're a liar. And once you're a liar, you're always a liar. And your credibility goes boom. But players in the NFL do want Ray Rice to be re want Ray Rice to get signed to a team soon, so I guess he's still on it. They're on his side. Okay, I got some Bill Cosby news. Twenty six women. It's up to now. Twenty six women have accused Bill Was Bill not Wasby. Bill Cosby of allegedly raping them. A couple other women did the did an interview the other night. I didn't watch it, but I saw parts of it. And one of the questions that were asked was how many of you want to get money from Bill Cosby? And they all said, nobody raised their hand. They all said, we don't. How many of you were raped by Bill Cosby? They all said, we all were. Um, they don't want to get money from Bill Cosby. A couple of them were really old, so I don't see... You know, it's sad, because at first I didn't want to believe it. But Bill Cosby has been so quiet since these allegations happened. And, you know, at first I was like, yeah, you be quiet. You don't entertain the negativity. But now I'm like, you did it. You had to do it. Because I would have released something. I would have had to say something. I'm sorry. You're not going to try me in the dirt like that. And that's what. They're not trying him in the dirt because he did this. And I know it's innocent until proven guilty. But you know what? I had a lot of respect for Bill Cosby. But now I think he did it. I, I Yeah, I think he did it to these women. Because it, there's just so many of them coming out. And... I would, I know he did it to at least one of them. Come on, 26 people, they all not lying. They all just didn't wake up one day and say, you know, I didn't want to mess up Bill Cosby's life today. And everybody who's saying, why did they wait so long? I'm saying the same thing, but Bill Cosby was, Bill Cosby's like really big back when he was doing this stuff. So I don't know what they were getting out of it. They might have got some things out of it when they were younger too. I don't know. Maybe they could be wanting money, but I don't think so. I think Bill Cosby did it. But I'm going to stop talking about that because it's not good. You shouldn't rape anybody. It's not good for you. It's not good for them. And if these women are lying, they're sick. But I don't think they're lying. I think they're telling the truth. Because it's been going on for too long. He's too quiet. He doesn't have anything to say about anything. And the LAPD wants to hear from him. So they're thinking about opening up a case on Bill Cosby, well, investigating Bill Cosby for these rape allegations, and I think they should. Somebody needs to investigate. Um, Prince William and Princess Kate came to the USA yesterday. They met with President Barack Obama, and then they late went to a late night game: the Mets versus the Nets versus the Brooklyn Nets versus the Cleveland Cavaliers in Brooklyn. They got to meet. England's royalty got to meet the USA's royalty. That's what people's been saying when they met Beyonce, the Queen Bee, and Jay Z, which he really isn't the king. But then they met LeBron James, which people call him King James. But I think King James is just in the Bible. He's not a king. But look like they had fun. I got some pictures of them with LeBron and Beyonce and Jay Z. Okay. Mark Wahlberg wants to be a cop, not just an actor. But there's only one problem with this he has a criminal record. In 1988, Mark Wahlberg beat two men and left one of them partially blind. But he wants his record expunged. And I think he should get his record expunged. It was a long time. 1988. That was almost... Shoot, that was almost 30 years ago. In a couple years, that'll be 30 years ago. He deserves a second chance. Everybody deserves a second chance. So give him a second chance. Um, Tom Brady was under fire this week for using the F-word during... In the middle of the football game. 
how how do you how do you um put somebody on the fire for that? He's allowed to use the F word. You're allowed to use any word during football. Well, not any word, but curse words are not are fair game during football games. Emotional time. Emotions are running high. You're allowed to say whatever you want. I dropped the F bomb at least a hundred times while I'm watching the Eagles play. I dropped the F bomb at least a million times while I'm not watching the Eagles play. They're gonna put me under fire too. I haven't dropped the F bomb on the show yet, but I want to sometime. But I gonna put me under fire. Hey, matter of fact. We allowed to say whatever we want in this country. If you want to say the F word or the B word, well, not the B word, that's a bad word. Um, the MF word, the A word, the S word, he can say any word that he want. Stop trying to put people on the fire for saying bad words. They're not even bad words. Who are you guys to say that these words are bad words? If the words are so bad, then take them out the damn dictionary. Because there's nothing wrong with them. I like to use them. A lot. Okay. Charlie Sheen wants to be on two and a half men finale but he's not going to be because the show creator does not want him on there but I think he should be put on there because Charlie Sheen is a main is a big reason why this show has been so successful over the last couple of years well not last couple of years but from the beginning until when he left I think in season six or season seven I don't even know what season it's in I stopped watching it I only watch reruns when I don't have anything else to watch on TV or when I'm bored and at the Christmas tree lighting thing special. Mariah Carey tried to sing live and she sounded like this. I hear those bells ringing for Christmas. I'm just gonna keep on waiting. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't that bad? I feel bad for her. Maybe it's the voice from the Canada that's got her voice all messed up. I don't know. But maybe she needs to go get some more vocal lessons. Sometimes your voice just goes away. And I hope she gets her voice back because that sounded awful. She shouldn't have done that. She disrespected her own self. But Mariah Carey's a proven singer, so she's okay. She's allowed to mess up. Everybody's allowed to mess up. I mess up all the time, so it's okay. I even messed up on that. Before I did the show, I was looking for these cards because I was organizing the rest of the cards for the... um from the previous shows. And I was looking for these cards and I thought I had them over there with the rest of the cards but they were actually in my desk because I put them on my desk last night and I spent like 30 minutes organizing this. I mean, trying to find these. My silly self forgot that I put them in there. Alright, so this is our last show from this room in the year 2014. I'm going home today. The semester's over. Finals week for me is over. I know finals week for everybody is not over but remember to continue. So stay calm. Do your best. And don't stress. You all do fine. Alright, that's our show for today. I tried to put on a lot hot, a lot of hot topics that made me laugh, made me that I wanted to hear, and that I thought you all wanted to hear. If you want to hear about more hot topics, just come visit me at charleslauren.weebly.com and leave me a message. And I'll try to talk about whatever you want me to talk about, except for a couple of things. But you'll find out what those couple of things are if you um, ask me to talk about them and I don't talk about them. Um, that's our show for today. I'll see you all on Friday. It's the show 29. Friday is show number 30. These shows are flying by quick. Originally, I only had 50 shows planned. But now, because I added these like other couple specials, like I think our next, the next two weeks, I'm thinking about doing something different with the show while I'm home. But I can't tell y'all what that is yet. I'm still thinking about it. And I still got to get it together. I'm going to try to get an interview with Miss McCaffrey. Um in the next two weeks. Probably the week of the 22nd I'll try to. If she's free then I have to talk to her later. Or this or this week I could try to get the, not this week, next week I could try to get the interview with her. Cause I want her to be my first on screen guest. So I want to do that. I'll see you guys on Friday. See you later everybody.